ecosystem, but it has to be communal, that everyone's included in it, and everyone's taking care. Because you are in a communal system, and then your child has 10 fathers and 10 moms. They're all there attending to the children, taking care of them. There are future, there are there are precious, there are investment, and we're not taking care of our future. We're abandoning them and damaging them, not realizing that it's new generation and it's getting screwed up. And what is their guru, their nanny? Their nanny is this phone. And look what they're doing. Go on Instagram. Look at young girls, how they're displaying themselves on Instagram. Look what's come of them, or children, or kids, younger kids. Look what's going on. Their sexuality is completely confused. They're displaying themselves. They're prostituting themselves. They have completely lost their ways. Look what is going on. Just take a look. Browse through and see what's happening for yourself. Look at the music industry, the TV, the stuff is going on. Look how confusing it is for everyone, for the children and the parents. All you have to do is look objectively and browse through. I'm not being righteous or I'm not acting, I'm not religious, I'm not prejudiced. I'm, I have eyes. I'm not stupid. I'm watching and looking what is going on. And it's like, woo, wow. What the hell is going on here? I don't want my 13-year-old daughter to go get boobs jobs or lips jobs and showing her body parts all naked to 7 billion people. I don't find that art or expressing. I, it's going towards prostitution. It's going towards pornography. It's being twisted, completely twisted and ups and downs. It's not healthy. If you, but I'm not here to argue that with anyone. This is what I see. That's because I'm awake. I can see. My eyes work. My ears hear. And my mind works. I can make an assessment for myself. I don't need anybody to tell me how to think. I can think for myself. And this is what I see. If someone want to agree with me, fine. Doesn't want to agree with me, fine. I'm not here to convince anyone. But I can see something's collapsing and it's not working. Look for yourself. Look around you. Is it working? Is it healthy? Do you think this new trend of the new modern woman wants to be equal to a man from rights and tries to be equal to a man physically and wants to be a single mom. Look how healthy it is. Just take a look at it objectively and come back and tell me whether it's healthy or not. Is it serving our new generation, our investment, our future? If you invest your money your lifetime savings into a house, would you abandon the house? Would you not care for it? Would you not fix things? Repaint the walls, fix the floors, change the old refrigerator and all the accessories, or will you just let it rot? Well, how would you, how would you take care of your investment? Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. How would you take care of your investment if you put your lifetime savings into a house? Would you abandon it or you be on top of it? I would really put effort on it. Exactly. So are we doing this with our children as a single parent? No. No. We don't. We have abandoned them. We put them in the nursery. We get rid of them. 
That's what we do. And we go on a vicious cycle. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And we're wondering why they're angry with us or they leave us as soon as they hit 18, sometimes a lot earlier. Right. Yeah. So we need to look at ourselves. So we have to be very conscious about the upbringing of our children. Absolutely. Our children. Or not bring them in. Or not bring him in. So, and not be a robot. Not just acting like a robot. Because you have to prepare. It takes a lot of preparation in a conscious world to bring children in. The conscious parents, even awakened parents, they fully become prepared and educated. But look what people do. They just pop kids back and forth. And they walk away. You know, most of the time, the man just leaves. Because it's easier. Get, yeah, exactly. You know, get the girl pregnant and just leave. And move on to the next, next girl. <clears throat> and it's becoming acceptable. But first, the people has to be awakened and feel the love inside of them. So that's a long, long way. Yeah, it's a long, long way. But we take, but we we here are doing our parts. We're taking our first step, and that's all we can do. We take by shining our love by shining by exactly, exactly. Don't underestimate the power of love that you have been, you have inherited. Don't underestimate it. Don't get fooled by the size of the planet. It's irrelevant. The power that you have inside you is beyond imagination. Beyond imagination. When you dive into yourself and you come to the power of love and you recognize that you are the torch of light and love and it's the presence of God inside you, it can instantly transform millions of people and you carry that seed inside you. Yes, I'm happy to hear that. So, for now, we take our attention from the world. These series that I'm sharing these things for you is not to... I'm going systematically. The reason I'm saying these things is not to point out and to try to go out there and fix the world. I want you to fix yourself first. As I fixed myself, first we need to recognize the truth of who we are. We start with one, two, three people. Then it gets 30, 40, 50. And then as more of us awakening to this truth, the hearts, the mind starts to link. And then what it does it just begins to drastically multiply itself because the grid gets activated through only a few people. All it needs is a few enlightened beings on this planet and they get connected. 